Umbrella Entertainment are a physical media company based out of Australia that are making some of the best box sets in the entire game right now. Here are their two newest installments for this month, The Last Wave and Sky Pirates. Let's take a look at them. Let's start by unboxing The Last Wave. Directed by David Weir, who also directed The Truman Show and Dead Poets Society, had this release come out in the 70s. It's about a lawyer who sees apocalyptic events involving water, and I think the cover art here does the job. You turn it around to the spine to see that it has a slip cover with it as well. And this slip cover does a great job showing off that mundane sense of dread that the main character has as well. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention this is a 4K release? I cannot wait to finally watch this bad boy. On the inside you have the 4K and Blu-ray disc as well as a poster from the movie that is double-sided, baby! We have a nice thick booklet going over some behind-the-scenes commentary and art from the film as well as eight replica lobby cards. We got some nice stills from the film here. Always love that touch. And these suckers are huge. Now it's time that we unbox some Sky Pirates. Sky Pirates is an 80s adventure film akin to Indiana Jones, as you can see with the coat and everything on the front. I do like how it's a matte finish on here, except for the main title character who has a gloss spot to him. I don't know, this box set is pretty dang nice. I love how they took that same spot gloss effect and put it on the title here with the matte finish of the slipcover, which looks phenomenal as well. Here's the front and the back. I also love how no artwork is ever reused. Here is yet another cover for the actual case. Even a different picture for the disc artwork. And the original poster artwork is included as well. Man, even that spot gloss is on the spine of the title. I love it. This one also comes with a 48-page booklet. I love how they name it Indiana Clone Diary. That is amazing. It's a Raiders ripoff. <laughs> There's Raiders in the back there. Oh, how amazing. Yeah, this book is actually one that I would read because it's about all of the different types of Indiana Jones adventure film spinoffs. What an awesome touch. This set also comes included with eight lobby cards as well, and they're just as good as what the last wave ones were. Also, I did mention that these are collector's editions. This Sky Pirates one, I got 207 out of 300. And this one I got for the last wave, I got number 26 out of 400. Yeah, these are very limited, folks. Umbrella continuously impresses me. They make some of the best box arts in the game. And as you can see, all of their releases are region free. Even though they're based out of Australia, you can watch every single one on any player you own. And since it is spooky dookie season, I'll show you some of their horror-related titles that are coming out in the next coming months. Here is Talk To Me. Look at that amazing box set. Here's one we have for Monkey Shines. I've always wanted to see this movie. We've got one for Clive Barker's Lord of Illusions. A movie that I've heard every horror fan needs to see Possession in 4K, no less. And Stigmata!